Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, it is myself, Colin Seymour, Moore, and Zarin Bartholomew going to be casting Call of Duty for you tonight. So game one going in favor of St. Clair Esports Club, 250 to 162. And game two is going to be Piccadilly, Search and Destroy. So in your opinion, what are the kind of keys that you want to see happen in this game for uh, Saints to come on top? Well, neither team has played this map so far in the CCL. Um, again, it's going to be executed. A proper execution on the side of St. Clair. Offense is going to be huge. Uh, very easy to win on defense. So, if you win one offense, you're more than likely going to win the game. And it's just got to be well coordinated pushes from St. Clair. And thoughts going down early, but quite a slow round so far. Recoils picks up Turkster. So now, and there goes Rop. So, two down already for St. Clair. And three versus five. Bomb is down, however. Tiger's going to be using an M4. You don't see that often. Nice kill. Oh, but what a shot from Tiger. He's going to take out Rob's yeah. Jaybirds. Trading out on Lavelle. So two left. Briestly and White Tiger. Priestley going to pick up one on Jaybirds. Biz with the sniper down. Buses. Going to be looking for that pickup on Priestley. White nice. Tiger on a roll. Going to be taking out recoils now. Priestley finding Biz. Is the 2v4 going to happen? One player left. That's Purge. He's sitting bottom shoe. And Priestley and White Tiger working together. I think they have an idea of where he is. Biz Purge looking for the shots on Priestley. Giving away his position. White Tiger putting shots down. Eight seconds left. Round one. Going to St. Clair. So that offense, like you said. <laughs> offense really important. St. Clair showing up right away. Wow, and and that's exactly what we were talking about before the game, or like as the game started. When when Grand Valley tried to retake the site, they just kept pushing in one on one, and just like that, you know, they just kept getting picked off. Priestley and White Tiger had themselves around, and to to come back from a, a two v four, that was pretty impressive from Saint Clair. Honestly, I saw, um, I, I think I saw Sauce standing above White Tiger, and White Tiger was kind of prone crawling over to the yeah. bomb i knew he was gonna get the bomb down but when i saw turkster go down right away i was kind of curious saw spinning right off the start he was pretty happy for winning that round yeah. one <laughs> we're gonna hop on board with purge army as he's pushing really fast down bosses this could be the push that kind of sets Whoa. off the start purge looking for the first kill on turkster turkster nice. though finding that sauce picking up two at the same time so three go down for grand valley make that four as white tire finishes up on rob's recoil the last one standing and he's going to be back buses just up in front of arcade he's going to be looking down mid right now looking to find a first pick looking to bring this back just be an epic 1v5 looks for tiger but tiger too hot right now with the sticks and you know what you got to respect the aggression from grand valley but turks are with the reaction time of God himself, just <laughs> turns and burns on him. And that that spiraled into a whole bunch of kills for St. Clair. So up 2-0 early on, and they're looking pretty good. And another offense coming up. This is going to be big for them. They can really take a stranglehold on this game. I think it was two weeks ago, or two or three weeks ago, I saw St. Clair play Search and Destroy and lose 6 nothing. Yep. So I is so, so glad to be seeing them practicing this and getting a little bit better because Search and Destroy wins games. Honestly, yep. Search and Destroy wins matches. You play two of them and it's it's gonna be it's your second match and your fifth match. So if you have to go to game five, you gotta be good at search. Biz Absolutely. gonna be right on the left of Turkster. Turkster pushing that flashes out, picks up the first kill. White Tiger following up with the second. That's gonna be purge going down. Recoils trading out on Turkster, but St. Clair does have the bomb down. Sauce and Priestley picking up two. And that is going to be one left once again for Grand Valley. And he's going to be dropped. So St. Clair, 3-0. They're looking hot right now. Yep. And that's, ex again, execution is what you wanted. That's two offenses, one now for St. Clair. You see that smoke down the smoke down on the mid statue is what got them up to that bomb site, despite Grand Valley being pushed up. Individual gunfights, St. Clair's is absolutely dominating right now. And we're talking a lot about St. Clair, but what do, what do you think Grand Valley has to switch up if they want to bring this comeback? You know, again, they need to play together, and that's not what they're doing right now. You appreciate the aggression that they had with, um, early in round number two when they were on offense, but this is what you want from them now. Shots going down. Priestley tagged up, but gets away with his life. And just going to revert back, try and... Looked like he was going to watch that cross. So we're seeing a sniper for the first time, actually. It's going to be Biz. You see how slow Grand Valley's taking this. They're concerned about getting picked off. And as I say that, Sauce picks up one. Now 4v5. White Tiger pushed up mid-map. Going to be seeing this cross if he does catch them. Yeah, and you know, Biz was running that sniper in game one. Hasn't found a kill yet. 
though. If we can see the uh, the stats of the players, I'd like to see the uh, the stat line for Grand Valley. But St. Clair just going to be holding those passive angles. Biz with the sniper pushing up arches. And he's uh, he's going to be looking for that first pick. There is Lavelle Whoa! down there with the sniper coming out on top with that kill. And he's just going to be continuing to hold down arches and lock that side down as this B push isn't really working right now for uh, for Grand Valley. Yeah, and excellent recognition by Lavelle. And Sauce actually gets a knife kill. Now, where do you get that knife kill at? Oh, Sauce is all the way behind wow. them. He, he made the major flank there to get that knife kill. Absolute insult to injury right there. Just <laughs> no mercy from, from uh, Sauce as he goes up behind the player and just gives him the old dagger in the back. And 4 nothing St. Clair. Man, Grand Valley is just all over the place right now. They're aggressive one round pass of the next and just nothing is working for them as looks like we're going to start with sauce here see what he can do with that knife there's the deadly weapon in his hand yeah i, I think sauce is like quite a bit of kills and one knife kill underneath them if this was csgo that would be quite the, the yeah. economy built for him but it's not so we're gonna hop on board with yeah. biz now as he's pushing over towards shoes throws out the semtex doesn't connect with anything so no damage spot for him and now White Tiger, that bomb planner. Actually, Biz did spot that, so they know bomb's going down. Smoke is in there. So if we see the nades come out from Grand Valley, they I know they use the nades right off the bat, but this oh. could be nasty. Wait, no purge. Don't do it to him. Pros don't fake. He's going to be hitting the defuse, and if he gets no. this, St. Clair would be devastated. He's oh, going to be on the defuse. No. I think he's going to get it. No, he did. Oh, oh. The Ninja Diffuse coming on board with Purge, and that was absolutely insane reaction for him to get down there. Check the bomb. That's all you <laughs> had to do. You know a smoke is down on the site. Just peek it once, and you're fine. St. Clair had so much con map control right there, and just a great play there by, by Purge. Just to hop on the bomb, say, screw it. We're down 4 nothing. Let's get at least a round. May as well try something, and it paid off for them. I actually don't think there was a smoke down when he laid down there to uh, defuse that, but that was a heads-up play from Purge. Indeed, he gets down, defuses that. St. Clair not even realizing that. In time, Purge now with the sniper instead of Biz. He's going to be hopping up top scaffolding, looking for that first pick. Recoils down mid. Jaybird's on the other side, finds first blood on Turk. And he's just going to be playing passive with bomb in hand. Sauce, the closest person to kind of stop this. Yep, and Sauce pushed up middle statue. He's going to get taken down. So Bird's two kills early on here in round number six. Grand Valley trying to climb their way back into this one. But Priestley gets recoils. A White Tiger gets Jaybird. So now, just like that, it's a 3v3. So much control from Grand Valley State. Bomb is going to go down, however. But again, Hopefully. White Tiger, there's there's a second kill of the round. He gets traded out. So now two versus two. Lavelle and Priestley, last two alive. And Priestley's going to work his way into shop. Lavelle's down now, so 1v2. Yep. Hey, this is definitely possible. We know how good Priestley can be with that assault rifle Especially in his hand. Especially in that position. Yeah, he's he's in a good spot right now. Can maybe spot out the player. Yep, knows he's on bomb, so he sees one, has that information. Didn't see that player. Stops top scaffold with a sniper. He gets tagged up. And eventually... Grand Valley completes the kill, and now 4-2. St. Clair's got to be getting a little bit worried. I was wondering what that player top scaff was doing. It was a little bit of a late reaction yeah. from him to get that hit marker down. But nice pickup, though, from Biz to finish up that Grand Valley, bringing it back a little bit as they're only down by two now. 4-2 to two for St. Clair College. And they're going to be just holding up on that offense right now. See, And they, they've been pretty stellar on this offense, to be honest. They, they Except for that Ninja Diffuse, you know. Flukes happen. Yeah. But. Yeah, and again, they had complete control of the site and just, just, <gasps> that was a great play. No way, Purge Army just picked Dot or Lavelle off like that so early on. And so now, disadvantage St. Clair getting tagged up. Priestley gets one back though, so now 4v4. Here they come over towards the B bomb site. Oh, nice name. Another one, nice name by White Tiger. Actually, White Tiger's gonna get a headshot there. So now, 4v3, just like that, advantage St. Clair. Bomb going down. St. Clair with the team shot. The nade then shot from White Tiger and Sauce was excellent. White Tiger now pushing over towards Police Car. He's getting shots down, but Sauce there to back him up. As they know where Jaybirds is, as Sauce pushes in. Jaybirds, though, picking up the kill on that. Sauce getting a little bit too excited. Now I'm pushing a little bit too fast. 2v3 as Grand Valley trying to bring this back. White Tiger's position is a little bit known. They do check Police Car. Now they're checking back. 
inside the barrier. They find the kill on the White Tiger. 2v2. Wow. Jaybird's going off right now. That's a triple kill for himself. Turks are going down. Look for that last play. That's Priestley. Hops the defuse. Priestley going to be looking for this. Whoa. Priestley finds the kill on the Jaybird's. 10 seconds left. Enough time for the defuse to come off as Rop did trade that one out. So excellent trades by Grand Valley to bring this back. And Sauce being a little bit too aggro there. Kind of and a little bit of a, an exciting misplay. Yeah, and, and that was the thing. St. Clair goes, like, they get that early pick on them, obviously, to be in a 4v5, but they got two kills basically right back, and, and Sauce, he just too aggressive right there with his with his no teammate support around him to, to trade that kill out. And so that was probably the key turning point of that round for Grand Valley State. Now it's 4-3. I mean, three rounds in a row for Grand Valley with St. Clair on defense. Hasn't been their strongest side. So this will be interesting how they kind of respond here. And it looks like it's going to oh. be an A push. Early pick by Purge Army on the sauce. So again, two game. first blood. That's three straight first bloods for Grand Valley State. That's two spawn kills right away by Purge Army in a row. Jaybird's going to be finding that second on a White Tiger. We see them pushing that B bomb site. Jaybird's, though, with the bomb at A, making a little bit of a... Kind of fake, but he does rotate around. AKA Lavelle does pick up Biz, but two go down for St. Clair Priestley and Turkster going down into the hands of Rops and Purge Army. So last one standing is going to be Lavelle as he's holding back Arches. Repo is now rotating around to uh, to the blue ticket booth, and he does spot out Lavelle. Lavelle getting the first kill, so bringing it back to a 1v3. All the players in their post plant position is going to be kind of posted up, holding good. Purge does spot that. Shots from Lavelle going to pick him up, makes it a 1v2. Shots from Buses. He's going to put Lavelle down to a low health, but not taking him down. 24 seconds for Lavelle to push this as he's pushing slowly. He moves over towards uh, mid Buses. Going to rotate over towards Uses the, dead silence. the other way. Yeah, he pulls dead silence. That's an excellent thing to do for him. They do not know where he's pushing from this time. So he pushes around, finds the kill, makes it a 1v1. Jaybird's going down. Seven seconds left. Not enough time Ooh. to defuse anyways. Final kill going down 4-4 four, four as St. Clair has lost four, had won four rounds in a row. They lost four rounds in a row. And if, if uh, St. Clair needs to kind of bring the composure back, it's right now. Yep, and and if you're if you're the captain of that team, Lavelle's got to settle everyone down. Just have a quick talk before the start of this round, guys. It's okay. We just go back to playing how we were the first four rounds because you see how dominant they were. And now, a couple rounds don't go in their favor, and they're starting to fall apart a little bit. So we'll see what they do on offense. Looks like they're going to go back towards the A site. Smokes out or the side of St. Clair, and they're going to try and get a quick block. Uh, bomb plan here. Another smoke going down, and here goes the bomb. So now you see the setup by Grand Valley State, how spread out they are. And this biz for this one pushed up. Oh, he got the bomb down. He ended up getting the bomb down before Nated. So that's that's huge for them, even though they, uh, White Tiger does fall. Uh, it's going to be recalls picking that one up oh. with a nade. But here comes Biz. Are we going to see another attempt at a ninja defuse? Turk checks the bomb. Good on him. He's going to spot one player. He gets information. He sees two now. He's going to call that out. Gets one. Can he get the second? Oh. He does. What a kill. Sauce gets the third. Now recoils left in a one versus three. He gets one. Spots Lavelle, but Lavelle cleans him up. Wow. St. Clair pulls it right back. And that, that was a heads up check by Turks to check the bomb. I actually didn't think he was going to get both of those yeah. players. As that one did back up with good timing. But there's your final kill cam. It's going to be Lavelle picking up that kill. And match point for St. Clair now. They're looking for their second win in a row. Looking to go up 2-0 in this matchup. They're, but Grand Valley on the back foot now. They want to bring it back to, a, to about a 1-1 in this matchup. I know they don't want to go down 2-0. Domination's a kind of finicky thing to, to just put, your, uh, put all your odds on. So now we're going to hop on board with St. Clair College as they're pushing this bomb site, but they're kind of pushing the wrong, the, the wrong one for defense as we see uh, Grand Valley setting up for a B execute. Yeah, but you see how separate St. Clair is on the map, so this may not be bad. You have Tiger in a position to rotate if needed, but again, a passive, passive push here by Grand Valley State. Shots going back and forth, so nothing doing so far. A minute 30 seconds, so lots of time, but Sauce on the flank again. He gets one, and Priestley gets another. So now 3v5, Grand Valley State's in a little bit of a bind here. Just over a minute to go. They're still trying to work their way over to the B bomb site, but bomb down. That is going to be picked up, however. And they may want to think about rotating. Priestley gets spotted out, but 
MP5 can't do damage. Sauce gets another one. He's such a nuisance to this team. And Sauce, oh my god. What? What a kill on the biz. Sauce going off. That's his third, fourth kill of the round, I believe. Or third kill of the round. And again, he's just been doing that all game, flanking and just playing so aggressively. And it's paying off. And this is looking like a St. Clair 6 4 victory here, unless Purge can pull some magic out of his hat. You're going to see a 1v5 with a sniper. 1v5 with a sniper. I want to see it. First Whoa. shot comes out, connects with Sauce, looking for the second, but traded out. And that is going to be St. Clair College winning the second map in a row. 6 to 4 on Piccadilly Search and Destroy. St. Clair. I want to say that first four rounds that St. Clair played were the cleanest rounds I've seen St. Clair play Search and Destroy. They just looked like an all star team. And, uh, and honestly, it looks like a totally different team than I saw, um, I think, Monday night that they were playing. Yep. And, and, you love to see it right there. St. Clair College picking up their second map win of the series to go up 2-0. And you know how resilient they are. You know, talk about resiliency as they were up 4-0. Uh, to nothing. But, you know, you lose four straight, you start to kind of panic a little bit. But we saw in that match a couple weeks back against Northern Illinois in the map 5, they were down 4-0 in the final S&D game 5, and they ended up coming back and winning that game. So no panic on the side of St. Clair. Yeah, and... uh Excellent retake by them. So game three is going to be Gunrunner Domination. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to head to a quick break, and we'll be right back.